Question number 14 is a very nice question that has been made from simple harmonic motion. It's a spring block arrangement where x equals to x0 is the mean position and a is the amplitude. Then it says consider two cases when at x0 that means when the block is at mean and when the block is at extreme. In both cases a particle of mass small m is softly placed on capital M so that they stick. That means a small block is gently placed over it. Now based on that we need to see, we need to see the amplitude and all factor. That means in the first case when the oscillating block was at mean a small block was placed and in the second case when the oscillating block was at extreme a second block was placed. Now let's see amplitude factor we got to see right here the amplitude will change and the best way is to conserve linear momentum like initially m v and the velocity is of course when it is at the mean velocity is omega a so omega is k by m into the initial amplitude a will be equals to m plus m k by m plus m into a dash and that will give us root m by m plus m a would be equals to a dash that's in case 1 so that is coming out to be correct and in case 2 the amplitude will not change because the block is kept at the extreme position and at the extreme position you know the velocity is 0. So if it was the single block it had velocity 0 even in case of two blocks the velocity would be 0 so amplitude would be the same because this is where it is instantaneously at rest. So first option is correct. Let us try to see the final time period is same and that is true you know time period is independent of amplitude straight away we can write t is 2 pi root m by k but the new mass of both would be m plus m so the final time period is same. Now let us try to see the total energy decreases instead of being mathematical straight away you can see right here due to collision the energy is being lost but here due to collision energy is not being lost. So in this case the energy decreases while in this case the energy does not decrease. So option number C would be incorrect because in both the cases energy is not decreasing. And D instantaneous speed at x0 of combined masses decreases in both the cases. For the first it is already decreasing. Now for the second what would be the velocity that would be omega times E. Now omega would be new. And the new omega would be k by m plus m while the amplitude is same. Quite obviously earlier there was only one block but now the denominator has increased so overall speed will decrease. So case A it is very clear the speed has decreased and even case B the speed is decreasing. So option number D is correct. So you could see from here for question number 14 A, B, D are the correct options. Now let us move to the next question. Alright, now we will proceed to section 3 and section 3 has two paragraphs and each paragraph has two questions associated. And for a correct answer you would be awarded 3 and there is no negative marking and for each question there is one single option. This one is quite a nice question where there is a rotating frame and there is a groove on the rotating frame where a block would move. The surface is smooth. X is taken along the slot, Y perpendicular to the slot and Z is of course perpendicular to the axis. This is the frame which is fixed to this horizon. That means the X would also keep on moving together with the disc. Now it says, it defines an expression and let me elaborate. It says that whenever this block moves in a rotating frame, normally we do not consider a block moving on rotating frame. We just limit ourselves up to the case where block is at rest in a moving frame. 
but this is more an elaborated case, then the total force in the rotating frame would be the force that comes in the inertial frame, that's a normal, plus additional, these. So these are these pseudo forces. That's what we do when you are in a non-inertial frame. The regular forces plus pseudo force. And have a look, this one is the regular centrifugal that's in the increasing direction of R, you can verify. And this particular one, now you could see V cross omega, like even in this case, V is in this direction and omega is up. So this is V and this is omega. Now you could see V cross omega would come outside. That means what is V? The velocity of the block in rotating frame. So as the block starts moving, it would be pushed in this direction. That's of course due to this particular force and when the block is pushed in this direction, of course, there is a groove so the block cannot slide here. So the block will exert a reaction on the wall. So this is a new sort of force, new in the sense that the normal book that we refer and the normal text that we do that generally limits up to the case when the block is at rest in rotating frame but here the block is moving as well. So this is the velocity in the rotating frame. Now what we should see is that say what would be the distance r as a function of t and initially the particle is released at a distance r by 2. Now here what you have to say is that as it starts moving the surface is smooth due to centrifugation it would go outside. Now you could see that along the radial direction because the normal force one is mg that's a normal force in inertial and rest of course one normal reaction from the ground but the force along the radial direction is only this. So here I'll be getting d2 r by dt square is m omega square r that's along the radial direction. Now from this we need to calculate the value of r. But the trouble is say we are not trained to solve the second order differential equation. We do it in a very very slight way when we do simple harmonic motion and as a matter of fact whenever you have a simple or you have a second order differential equation we always start guessing the solution. So let me not go into that mathematical part. As of now, at this particular level, since you are not trained in second order differential equation, the best way is say, start verifying from the option. And when you verify from the option, you would see that option number B would be matching this thing. So here, at any time t, the distance from the center would be given by this. And this is only the way how we generally solve the second order differential equation. So it's not that we are going in an unfair way. Now the net reaction. One reaction is of course to balance the mg. So that would be one mg k cap. So in these two I am getting mg k cap. So c and d are already eliminated. The next that I was discussing was the reaction when you have you know to balance or to offset the force that it comes in this direction so the wall would be pushing it against this particular force. Now here you get the magnitude is 2m v rotation into omega and 2m v rotation is dr by dt into omega. So that would be the force by which it would be pushing in this direction. So normal reaction would be balancing that. You put the value of r from here and you would get option number a to be correct. So quite different, you know, you have to put nice level of thought in order to solve this question.